Carolina Panthers plus nine um, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm. And, um, you know, it's a big line. And given what we saw in Tampa Bay, we, we talked about this, right? I'm not worried about Tampa Bay. Uh, they'll be just fine. But what it looked like to me, and I think probably everybody else was, it looked like a quarterback who wasn't on the same page with his receivers the entire right. game. Right, right. Right. Um, Evans was on the field, not a factor. Godwin got yeah. some passes. That first drive, they looked yeah. good, right? You saw that first drive like yeah. I did, and you're probably thinking, hmm. Here we go. You know, here yeah. we go. And then nothing. So, you know, the yeah. first the first drive was scripted. They were comfortable with it. Couldn't get anything going, really, the rest of the game. Gronk, that surprised me how much Gronk was off the field for O.J. Howard. And I think that's going to change. You're talking about, like, receiver, you know, chemistry. I got to think that's going to change in week two. Yeah, me too. I don't, you know, Howard will be a factor, don't get me wrong, but but Brady, what Brady's really aching for, he doesn't have Julian Edelman running option routes and both reading the defense. Julian Edelman, next quarterback, right? He doesn't yeah. have that. He doesn't have or didn't last week, Gronkowski, hey, I'm just going to toss it up to Gronk. You know, I'm in a tough spot. Let me, just, let me just throw it to Gronk. I know he'll come down with it in double coverage. We didn't get that. So I think there, I think Gronk needs to be on the field while Brady acclimates. And um, I still think Fournette is going to be the, the better running back in Tampa Bay, but Jones looked fine. But this is this is all about Brady um, and, and chemistry with the wide receivers. Would you agree? Uh, yes, it is. And it's... It's going to take a little bit to to work in gel. There's one thing we know about the NFL. It's not the NBA. You can't just acquire right. better talent, and that means you're better, right? I mean, dude, the weapons Cleveland has at wide receiver doesn't mean anything yet because right. it hasn't clicked really right. for whatever reason. Uh, I know the reason, but I'll, I'll leave that out there for now. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Uh, it, it's going to take a little bit, and and I think that's it. And it'll probably take, it'll probably happen quicker than we think. But for now, it's got to be figured out. Which leads me to my um, my pick of that game. I think Carolina covers that easy. I'm not saying they win, but I think nine is is a tremendous line. Yeah, and this line actually opened at ten, so it's already been bet down. I think you know the betters, yeah. and the early money is is going with us there too, and I, I'm taking Carolina too. And let me talk about Carolina for a little bit. You know, Teddy Bridgewater. I watched that game, and you know, you could see the back and forth. And the way I watch, you know, this Brad very well because you've seen me do it many times, um, and we will again very soon. We actually have people working on the Thunderdome 2.0, so Beautiful. hopefully we'll get that uh, that basement and the three TV setup going, but. I had to set up. I always watch games one at a time. I don't flip around. I don't like watching red zone. I want to watch the games because I need to see how the defensive line and the offensive line plays. That's the key to me. I want to see how, how well the defense and the offensive line um, you know, for each team is, right? And so right off the bat, you know, Baltimore, their defensive line and offensive line is awesome. So they're going to be better, and they got a the quarterback. Um, Pittsburgh, same thing. Um, New Orleans, everybody knows about this offense. Their defensive line's nasty. You can't run the ball on them, right? Mm. So there are these teams. So that's kind of the first thing I look for, and I need to watch the game. When I'm looking at Carolina, I see the scores coming through. Vegas gets up. They're up by two scores, and Carolina closes the gap. And I see it. I'm thinking, okay, well, Carolina, they're kicking out a lot of field goals here, but they're not really punching it in what's going on. I finally watched the game last night. Uh, part of the reason I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm so freaking tired. Dude, like, this this offense in Carolina, you can see what they're doing. We've been talking about all off season, and I would say it's a confirmation. They're going to look a lot like the Arizona Cardinals, who I mm. like quite a bit. I like watching it. I like the brand of football. They're throwing short routes. The offensive line is protecting the quarterback because they're throwing short routes. They're not trying to push the ball downfield. They're taking what the defense gives them. Christian McCaffrey's running very well. They didn't involve him in the passing game until they had to, and when mm. they had to, they did involve him. So I think this Carolina Panthers offense is going to get better, um, and I would actually say based on what I saw last week, I think the Carolina offense has melded better in the offseason. Mm. I think they're more they're playing with more maturity. Tampa Bay obviously has the higher ceiling. Right now, I think Carolina's offense is just a little bit better. Now, let's talk about Tampa's defense, man. They they were actually pretty impressive to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got a lot of ballers over there. They do. I mean, they, they did a decent look. New Orleans, man, I don't know what it is, but I think people forget how good New Orleans yeah, is. I agree. You know, for whatever reason, maybe it's just because of what's going on in, in KC. Um, and Baltimore, but New Orleans has been lights out for years now, and that's not going to change. So, 
and they did do a decent job against mm-hmm. them. They you did. And Last the, year, the thing about New Orleans, man, they put in that Taysom Hill guy, and it's like, well, what are they going to do? And, and it seems like every time that guy touches the ball, it's like a twenty-yard gain. It's yeah, really phenomenal. It is, and you know what's interesting is they were they were using him to try to throw deep a little bit, which is a little bit more. We saw it a little bit in the playoffs last year, but it's another layer of that development there, which I like. Um, it, it adds some intrigue. Tampa Bay's pass defense for me was the big question. Their run defense was already set. Bowles in his, I believe it's his second year. Um, I believe so. The second year, you know, him running the defense and all that. Um, look, Tampa Bay is going to be good. I, th- I still think Tampa Bay is a double-digit win team. What I think is going to end up happening is Tampa Bay is going to take these next two to three games to really, you know, really get things moving and that chemistry with the offense and all that stuff. You could see Brady was frustrated. Yeah. Um, but that's not going to happen all season long, man. Like, I, I'm not worried for Tampa Bay, but nine points is a big line, especially for a team that can score points. Big line. Um, and Tampa Bay, they might be able to bottle up McCaffrey, but this is a better, more efficient passing offense in Carolina than last year. And Teddy Bridgewater, I mean, you know, he might make me look like an idiot for saying this but uh, against Tampa Bay, but he takes care of the ball. He took care of the ball, you know, with New Orleans last play. year. He can play. And he was a little bit more mobile than I thought he would be, you know. I know he had that injury a long time ago, so I was curious. Like, it was it was good. So, yeah, both of us are on Carolina there. I completely agree. Um Rockobot, by the way, uh, the pick engine, you beat Rockobot last week. Uh, yes. Rockobot was 11, you hit 12 and a half, I hit 9 and a half. So Rockobot's ahead of me. Rockobot takes Tampa Bay. Um, but Rockobot's not really good until week three, uh, although he, he did beat me last week. So what does that tell you? Uh, let's move it on here. 